We are following breaking news tonight. A North Georgia amusement park faces another fine for failing to report an injury in May. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Hannah Lawrence joins us now live from Lake Winnie to tell us what we learned late this afternoon. Hannah. Josh and Kim, the citation we learned about this afternoon makes the third one this week. They're all coming from the Georgia Fire Safety Commissioner's Office, and at this moment, investigators from that office are still in the park behind me. Spokesperson Glenn Allen with the Commissioner's Office tells us the new citation is related to an injury from three weeks ago that was not reported until late yesterday. Allen says an ambulance carried a woman to the hospital after she injured her head and arm on the wild lightning ride. We don't know any more about her condition tonight. Alan did speak to us, though, about the details that have come to light this week for investigators in his office. I think what is concerning for us is that um, Lake Winnie has failed to report these accident, accidents to us in a timely manner, which has resulted in, in fines totaling $1,500. The state says two of the three injuries happened on the wild lightning, a single car roller coaster ride. The third was on the boat shoot ride. Reporting in Rossville, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. According to documents we received from the state, amusement parks are required to report any accidents with injuries to the state immediately. The state also plans to talk to the woman who was involved in the accident last month. Firefighters had to wait 49 minutes to get two people.